Hey guys and ladies, welcome to Zip Gaming Online, and today we're going to have a look at Cerro, or Cerro, or Cerro, whichever works best for you. So, before we go anywhere, let us check the stats. As you can see there, this weapon has the highest elemental damage straight off the bat. It does not have impact, puncture, or slash. However, it sports electricity damage with a hefty hefty 25% status. It's also a polearm, so it allows for bleeding willow or shimmering blight stances. However, with the polarity given, it is well suited for bleeding willow. All right. So unless you really like shimmering blight and are willing to fork over a former for it, stick with the bleeding willow and jump straight into the fray. So let us talk a bit about the animation. As you probably noticed, the blades on this polearm has an animation, therefore it's not a static model. And I will show you in this short clip, as long as you have it ready, as you can see on the right, you can see the blade moving about, right? Now I will show you again here when I'm blocking. As you can see, the blade moves in the direction that you are facing, acting like a blade on a conventional polearm. So it's pretty cool. And it also does that when you are using it during an attack as such. And as you can see, it moves about the way your like your attack kind of moves about. So that's pretty cool with a little bit of, you know, kind of weird positions here and there. Anyway, let's go and talk about the modding for this weapon. So this is the thing that I would use to kind of maximize the, ma the damage because it's practically electricity. So we want to max that out before we kind of move about with other things, all right? Here, I will show you my corrosive build. And the corrosive build is practically what I would use for higher level enemies. Though, always remember that on higher level enemies, it's all about staggering, you know, crowd control sort of thing. So this is my, well, gas build. And why is there a gas build on this one? Well, because I wanted to be able to take down infected. However, also note that on higher level, generally melee become some sort of crowd control. In my opinion, that's where it should have been. And for a lot of higher level enemies, you actually might want to use stuff like corrosive, radiation, stuff like that. But with infected, just stick with gas because most of the time, if you're gonna be dealing with enemies of the infected nature, the only thing that will give you an edge with corrosive and stuff like that, radiation, it's probably gonna be the fossilized enemies. So stick with the gas for you know enemies up to like level 30 40 maybe even but that's it so here we have the magnetic build this is geared towards the uh, obvious corpus enemies and the cool thing about this is that because the um, Cero actually has a really big AOE on jump attacks you could actually use this to destroy cameras and stuff like that. <clears throat> so on a Corpus mission, you are actually able to pretty much run through the entire thing with melee. And this would be a weapon for you, you know, to do that. So with the uh, Magnetic, as well as the other builds, we always try to focus on status. Why status? Because at the end of the day, like I mentioned earlier, that melee has a lot to do with the potential of crowd control. And this weapon embodies crowd control. It's pretty much like, you know, certain weapons like Obex, um, Kogake, and Kestrel, and stuff like that. You are able to knock down an opponent when you most needed it. So it's awesome straight off the bat. So with that being said, let's talk about radiation. And why are we talking about radiation? Because there's two, well basically there's two choices that you can kind of work with 
with the enemies such as Grenier. And the reason why I'm talking about Grenier with two options is because there is the uh, radiation, <coughs> as you can see here, and there is the uh, corrosive that I showed you earlier. However, for this segment, I will show you the uh, radiation. And why is that? Because let's face the fact that not a lot of people will be able to get to the point where corrosive really takes the stage and really show how corrosive can shine because corrosive takes only a really high level and as you can see here you know I'm finding a level 2526 it's enough for the radiation to actually just demolish the enemy generally in a single swipe so there's really no need for people to actually go that far and I would actually recommend yes use radiation and for this weapon use reach and a lot of people don't really like to use reach they want to add more damage into it but let's face the fact that once you get to a really high level where the damage does matter the melee weapon will lag behind a shooting weapon whatever it may be be it a secondary or a primary it will not get there so just get reach get that crowd control ability in there all in all this is an amazing weapon it's a wonderful addition to your arsenal however remember one major thing with this weapon you cannot you cannot and I mean you cannot copter with this weapon at all so if you think that you do not have the need to copter this is the weapon for you and I urge you to even just try it even for a mastery rank fodder it's that good so with that being said this is the uh, look at Cero in Warframe guys I hope you enjoyed the uh, video and I hope it helps you to kind of get the sense of what this weapon is with that being said thank you very much for watching guys and uh, I think I am done so guys have an awesome day and take care I'll see you guys on the next video